Shut up and sit down. Hello, gang, and welcome to Festa Six Sevens Workshop. I'm Colin, and today another inbox review and this is for a Panzer Haubitzer 2000 German self-propelled howitzer and it is made by the lovely folk down at Meng and this was kindly sent to me by my friend Ronald Borg so we're going to do a little inbox review of this um big boomstick as I like to call it and you've got some nice nice box art going on around the edge there of the different paint scheme kit number is TS012 so look me up on scale mates and have me as a mate a little bit of information there on the side around the gun and the kit um, it's a 2014 kit, so it's quite a recent moulding. Nice bit of box art going on there. Give you an idea of what your completed kit is going to be. <clears throat> so what have we got inside? I'll just spin that around for you all so we can see it. Uh, and let's see whether I can rest it on a couple of uh, little jars as well just to tilt ourselves up so you can see in the box so what have we got in here you've got your upper hole all neatly moulded and cast there some interesting panel gaps and, and things that can uh, have a bit of um, panel line accentuator in there you've got your anti-slip coating as well moulded in with texture nice bit of grating going on and everything's really crisply done there some injector pins but you know that's on the inside so you've not got to worry and it looks like the seams are actually going to be where welded seams would be so Looks like they've done a bit of forward thinking there. We've got various different poly caps going on for the wheels and things. Underside of the hull, with all your suspension mounts and, and wheel mounts and that going on. A couple of pin marks there that can be sanded off later. It's, it's a very strong plastic as well got that I don't know it's just got that solid feel about it again look at some of the raised detail on it it's absolutely gorgeous really is crisply moulded so I mean the only other men kit I've built was the little Toon uh, Sherman tank quite a while ago uh, the Herman and the German in his stolen Sherman build and um, that was well moulded as well and here's some nice crisp wheel detail on the sprues there neatly labelled very bold and I tend to just put a little bit of contrast paint in these just so that I can see the letters when I'm building so a couple of sprues there of the same see there with the wheels and various hatches again really crisply molded meng so credit to you all the wheels there again all the bolt detail is captured so i'm impressed with what i'm seeing so far i must admit no flash yet as well so all in all, I mean, I, I've avoided armor like the plague since I've been back in the hobby, but I've literally been building loads and loads of armor. So I think I'm beginning to get a little converted. Some of the torsion rods and things for the um, suspension. 
And if I remember rightly, I think I was chatting to Vincent over at Mr. Loft's model making. If I remember rightly, the suspension on this has actually got some give in it. It works. So he was on about getting metal tracks, which is what I'll get to shortly. Uh, all your hatches and that. Again, look at the detail on this, even the texture. And that is really, really, really well made and moulded. So if you haven't got this in your stash, from what I'm seeing so far, I would heartily recommend you go out and get this because, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not an armour expert, not by a long shot, but with what I'm seeing on this, it really is a well moulded kit. I mean, look at the detail just on the mirrors alone there, all the bracketry and everything just pops at you, you know, so, you know, all the, all, all the vents and that, look at that. You know, it's just flawless. It really is. Yeah. Impressive, to say the least. Yeah, I'm liking this. Yeah, it really is a beautifully, beautifully moulded piece. I'm going to have some fun making this, I think. Some clear parts there for the sights and lenses and things like that. So I'll guard that with my life. Another sprue there of bits and bobs. I've got a feeling this is a template. A template, you know, like a, uh, a jig for making the tracks. I could be wrong. And the tracks are living in here. Uh, this is individual track links on this, a big bag of them there. With all your plastic track links and etc. So, all, all the rods and assemblies there. I've not done individual track links yet. Um, I'll just pull out the instructions and that. And that. Um, I've not done individual track links yet, so I'm actually looking forward to it. Now, Vincent has said about getting metal tracks for it, which I'll get into in a minute. But in this box here, you've got an aluminium barrel. I mean, come on, look at that. Absolutely stunning. You know? absolute thing of beauty again my first aluminium barrel so yeah you know Festa's venturing into new grounds here photo etch yeah I've got a photo etch bender as well now courtesy of uh, Mike Jolly over at MJC so uh, MJR even models um, look him up on the Facebook there MGR models and hobbies and he's up in Bolton, so give him a look. He's on the Facebook, does a lot of stuff there, models for less, I think it is. And uh, pop over and give him a visit. So that will be getting used to Ben's said photo itch. Normally I use an old door inch, but you know, a lot of people have said to me, come on, mate, get yourself a proper photo itch bender. So, uh, yeah, Mike kindly uh, sent me one, so, yeah, look at that. Bit of photo etch, bit of rope, and things like that. So, a bit of detail up in there. And then, your instructions as well. So, I'll put the kit back in the box, and then we'll go through the uh, instructions and have a little look to see what we've got going on in there. I took the sprues actually out of the plastic bags that they came in uh, because I find sometimes on the reviews the, the poly or the plastic bags make hell of a racket and it's difficult 
when you're filming to, to disguise that noise. So we'll just move that out the way. And have a look at the uh, instruction booklet. Beautiful, beautiful artwork on there. Again, it's just got this quality feel about it. You know, this is your instructions for crying out loud. It's like, you know, proper proper book, staples and everything, you know, colour. Nice. But it's just got this quality feel about everything in there. Various languages telling you about what it is, what it did. Various do's and don'ts and tools and equipment that you can need and the different camouflage schemes German Federal Armed Forces Royal Netherlands and Hellenic Army and then some really really detailed uh, instructions here on you know how to join parts together the polycat you know all your exploded view uh, pictures beautifully printed beautifully illustrated some little uh, call outs there you know optional parts are removed with a knife and a fill uh, diagram there so it gives you everything you need decals painting paint colors All your internal bulkheads going in. Yeah, folding out stands and brackets and paraphernalia that goes around the tank, mesh parts, photo etch parts on there, all your doors, your sights and all of that going on. Whole parts again underneath there, hatches some more photo etch and this is what I was on about the little track assembly in section 14 there you, that, that piece I was showing you is actually a little jig uh, there you go I've got it to hand on sprue J this piece here is actually a little jig that they've included that you put your track components in each one of these guides and then join it all together and you build your tracks in little assemblies and put different pads and things like that on there neat little idea i like that you know i don't know whether it's a common common thing in armor kits because again you know i'm not a massive armor builder i know i keep saying it but you know i've not done a lot of it I mean, this is number four now so i'll be running out of the excuse soon of i've not done a lot of armor i've actually i've actually bought some more armor i oh, know Vesta's getting into armor who'd have thought it joining your top hole onto your bottom hole there putting on your side skirts your end panels mud flat etc on there making up your cables your ropes and, and, and things I usually use you get string with these but I usually use the brass picture frame wire stuff it's twisted strands basically of brass and it just captures a little bit more realism so I'll show you how I, I utilise that and this is all the gun and everything and it's mantle and everything going in and different hatches and again everything's really concisely illustrated as well in these instructions you know i don't think you can go wrong to be honest with you and your photo etch there bending it and that so i'm looking forward to using me photo etch bender and then at the back of the instructions here you've got your different sprue diagrams with what's on what how many sprues of each you have coming on to the final part of your instructions there's your photo 
switch your decals which again look really beautifully beautifully colored and again look at the detail on this paint scheme you know that diagram there with all your different colors it, it i don't know it, it just exudes quality you know it, you can't go wrong with that if you're masking up your camo you can look at that and you're like yeah that's exact you know so yeah i like the way they've done that that's really nicely done so then there's your different camo schemes for your different relevances and then right at the back here you've got all of your your paint uh, you've got your Vallejo color chart on the back there as well with the the numbers but also you know little representations of the colors so you know you don't just have to use Vallejo there are charts out there where you can cross reference and match up to the paint manufacturer of your choice so again really good instructions there all in all I think these are about 45 50 pounds UK these kits um, kindly gifted to me by Ronald Borg so thank you Ronald um, it really does mean a lot you know I was blown away when uh, you sent me this for Christmas and I, I am really 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 grateful mate it's not often I get lost for words uh, but yeah it meant a lot so for those of you out there that are looking at getting into a bit of armour you can't go wrong with that you know that's a beautifully made product by Meng um, yeah I'm really impressed to be quite honest with you would I go out and buy one yes I would actually um, yeah you can't go wrong with that as a as a model builder someone that's not done a lot of armor himself um you know i can honestly say that seeing what i've seen on this little inbox review of the sprue layout the instructions the quality of the molding etc i think anyone getting into the hobby or into armor that has got this kit in their stash or that is looking at at starting then yeah go out and get this one give it a go and i think you'll honestly enjoy the end result i'm really really tempted to invest in the metal tracks for this um i'll speak with my uh belgian counterpart on that because um yeah i just got uh, i think it, it it'll just give it that little bit of oomph and it's you know it's a beautiful gesture from ronald to send me this and to do it justice you know i think you know if i invest in that little bit of aftermarket it you know will show that i respect what it, what he's uh, sent me there and i've i've given it that uh dedication that it, it really deserves so when i come to build this ronald this build's going to be dedicated to you mate um in the meantime, I'm going to stop rambling. Get out, get yourself the Meng Panzer Halbitzer 2000 135th scale self propelled howitzer. You can't go wrong with it. Well done, Meng. Keep up the good work, and I look forward to um, doing the video series on this. So I'll see you then. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.